But speaking of which, something that's completely worth it right now, we were just talking about NVIDIA. We've been talking about AMD or NVIDIA every week since the year started. They're always doing stuff. And NVIDIA is it's just liking to break records, I like to say. They like to break records. That's what I like to say. Because they are doing a thing. They, they are... They they are making every everything count. They are make doing. They're doing they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I mean, they're the number one leader. Their earnings report we were talking about last year. A lot of people are saying this is going to go to a thousand dollars easily. They've grown their stocks grown so much, um, literally from last week and things. And we're gonna get into this because we. Last week when we were talking about this and reviewed a video, they did not have the report out already. The The report was not out, but it did come out that day, last Thursday and whatnot. But now this is the CEO's words. Um, this is some more information around what's going on with NVIDIA. This came out after the earnings report came out. So let's quickly just go dive through this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share on all the platforms. Appreciate it so much. I really do. It helps out the algorithm. Let's see. We're on to the breaking news animation because John Fort, sitting down moments ago with NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong, following the company's earnings, talked about how enterprise software companies are going to drive demand for NVIDIA's technology. Listen. What's going to happen is this. The, the, the world's enterprise software platforms represent approximately a trillion dollars. There are that trillion dollars represent Wolf's platforms like ServiceNow. It represents data platforms like Snowflake, Dropbox, Box, SAP, Oracle. These application oriented, tools oriented platforms and data oriented platforms are all going to be revolutionized with these AI a agents that sit on top of it. And the way to th think about that is very simple. Whereas these platforms used to be tools that experts would learn to use. In the future, these tools companies will also offer AI agents that you can hire to help you use these tools or to help you reduce the barrier of using these tools. Shares of NVIDIA still surging. After hours, they're up 59 bucks, almost 9%. And I'm sure you can catch the rest of that John interview tomorrow. I'm just guessing. Joining us now is Deepwater Asset Management Managing Partner, Gene Munster. Gene, amazing quarter on pretty much every level. The market has spoken. That's not my opinion. You said you love the fact something called training and inference were much stronger than you expected. My question is, what is, what is training and inference? So training is when... I know what training you, means. Training, okay. Inference is when it basically gives you... The I, I don't like that. Um... Just because you know what it is doesn't mean your viewers do. Unless you're watching this all the time. Like, I want to know more on that. Like, you don't have to cut them off. That was kind of rude. I don't like that. I don't like that. This is why we, we look at different news channels and stuff so that we can get information from different people and stuff. But I ain't like that at all. I, I, I want to be educated. I watch this to be educated. That does not help me at all. The response, it's you put a query in uh, and then it actually tells you what you wanted to know or gives you some direction. That's the inference. It's inferring what uh, what you're asking. And so essentially why that's so important. So that number was 40 percent, like you mentioned. I would have guessed that that number would have been 5 percent, but 40 percent of their CPUs are being used for inference. And what that means is that there is already an infrastructure layer that's in place. It's still nascent. But there is a lot of use for some of the things that Jensen Wong was just talking about in your John Fort setup piece there, that we're actually using AI. And uh, that is an incredible number. As I said, I was expected to be 5%, 40 does show that even though this is early, we're getting a lot of use from AI. I think it really speaks to the question, is AI, how much is it hype? How much is it reality? This looks to be more than just a guess from the mm -hmm. big tech companies that's going to be something that's actually uh, people are actually using it. I tweeted this out earlier today or X'd it out later on, earlier today, Gene, because I've never seen anything like this in, in my career. The, the price difference among about 50 sell side analysts cover NVIDIA. I think the high price target is like 1200 and the low is around 400. 
Most price target differences are like 30 or 40 bucks. How can the sell side analyst community have an $800 gap in their expected price targets when they're all looking at the same data and probably all went to the same business school? Why am I yelling? So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in a unique place here, Brian. As, as you know, I've spent the last almost 10 years as an investor, but 20 years before that as an analyst. And so I know that role pretty well. I didn't ask well. it by accident. I, I love it. <laughs> I think the, the, the reason why is you probably have, of those 50 analysts, there's probably 30 of them that the buy side doesn't really care about their opinion. And they really don't spend a lot of time on uh, their their modeling. They don't spend a lot, put a lot of time into their price target. And that could be on the high or the low end. And so I think that there's probably a lot of noise here. It's usually probably five or 10 analysts that really matter when it comes to a company yep. like this. And so I think if you probably look at the five that matter, they're probably all pretty close to each other. Hmm. And... Actually, we have one more thing to look at for this. So, last week, look, they were just talking about this was at 7.35. When this come out? Um, six days ago. So, less than a week ago, it was at 6.35. It's at 7.74 right now. And last week, we could not see this earnings report right here. And a lot of what everybody was worrying about last week was, will they beat it enough that the stock won't go down because people have way higher expectations? And instead of it going down, it went the opposite way. It went crazily up the other way. So far, like NVIDIA is carrying Magnificent 7 by a long shot right now. They were the last one to re you know, show their reports and stuff. As you see, they beat the revenue almost 7.5%. And the EPS, they beat by 11%, 11.3% almost. And this, these were the numbers that we were looking for. These numbers aren't as good as the past quarters from last year. But this is the, I can't see the quarter, the first quarter from last year uh, to compare it to last January right now. But, um... Like they, they, they lead in the board right now. It, it's becoming even harder for AMD and all the other companies to catch up to them right now. It's becoming even more trivial because of all their focus is on. It proves that they're way more valuable than some may think they're valuable. Um, people have way more ideas coming out for them. They're thinking of using way more stuff with AI. The demand is way higher. These companies are actually using them. They're going to continue using their products. They're going to continue growing. Um, by the way, that training stuff, I do know what training is for AI, by the way, but I still feel like it was wrong in some way for him to just cut it off because some people may not know how what training means for training an AI system and things like that and the toll it takes on machines. Maybe somebody needed to explain that in his terms or whatever he might explain it differently than other people would have and stuff so that's just what i really didn't like and appreciate from that but the video is definitely up there they're definitely making some changes some headway and i'm really excited to see what's going to happen uh, i've heard a lot of news around them hitting the thousand mark on the stock i forget timelines on when they said that will happen but I it, it may it may get there. It may get there sooner than we think. It's gone up a hundred easily in the last month in stock price. So do what you want with that information and all of that. Um, but thank you guys for sticking to another episode of Dev Talks. Uh have a good weekend. Be safe. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you next week and peace.